Hello you guys, welcome back. Um, today I am decluttering the classroom. I am so excited to finally be getting this done. Um, I'm going to be changing out our calendar and just switching all kinds of things around. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and cleaning and decluttering our classroom. I am most likely going to start... <laughs> I don't even know where to start. <laughs> There's so many things that I want to do. Um, I'm going to be trying to find a new home for this. I'm going to be going through that stuff. I am going to be going through that stuff because I'm sure there's markers without lids and paint and glue that's been left with no lid because this is our classroom, but she also is allowed to use that at any point in time. I'm going to be getting a new calendar. I'm going to be moving that stuff to the closet. The closet's going to be a separate video if I even film that because it's embarrassing. Um, <laughs> um, but I'm going to be moving that in there. I actually got a new cart for that. I'm going to be using that for something else. We'll have to wait for the new classroom reveal for that though. So cleaning up that, cleaning up that, my desk area. Sorry, I just went around, probably made you dizzy. This is where the, I don't know what to do with these papers go. <laughs> Between myself and my husband, we just throw them up there. My desk is a disaster. I've got like filming stuff over there. Morning work binder there, just junk everywhere. There's stuff underneath my desk. The trash is overflowing. I need to go through these books because some of them, Here's the deal. <laughs> when we first decided, now I had always wanted to be a homeschool mom, but when we first decided that that was going to be the road that we were for sure going to take, and it was like taught school slash preschool time for us, I obsessively bought anything and everything that I could find that would be possibly, possibly be used for homeschooling. So. Some of the books up there are from when I was homeschooled. Some are ones that I actually wouldn't mind using, but they're for like grades ahead of now. Um, I bought bins and bins. Like if you see the plastic bin right there, I plan on at least filling that up with stuff to get rid of, donate, sell, whatever. Um, I bought probably four of those full of books. Some of them were like trash because they were ripped and missing pages. Obviously I, I tossed them or whatever. Some of them I used the pages that were there for like craft projects and stuff like that. But um, obviously like we have some nice sets. We've got good books. There's a lot down here that I want to keep, but I do want to go through them because there's definitely stuff that I also want to get rid of. Um, down here, that is full of lap books that I made her. Um, back there is like art pads and spray paint and stuff for just different art projects. My filming stuff is back here. I'm hoping to get that into the closet at some point. We've definitely outgrown this house and there's not much storage as it is. Like each room has a closet. Ireland's closet is probably the best and biggest. <laughs> her room is a bit smaller than ours, but her closet is nice. Um, yeah, I'm definitely saving the closet for another day though. So now that we know what we're getting into, I, if I'm walking weird, my feet are freezing right now because I cleaned the carpets. I had planned on doing this tomorrow, but I'm very impatient. <laughs> and my husband comes home the day after tomorrow. And I would like tomorrow night and the next morning to work on everything else. And I have a bunch of stuff that I've gotten for the next school year and I want to go ahead and start putting it in here because we only have a couple weeks left and we've been doing it, as you can see, it's still in January. We've been doing school at the kitchen table because this desk is just not comfortable for her. Um, my desk is great. My chair is awesome. I love this thing, but that's just not comfortable for her and it's awkward to try to help her. So we got our different desk and stuff. So I'm going to declutter this and then that will probably be the last time that you see the classroom until the reveal. So my feet are freezing because carpet's a little damp still. So if I walk weird and I'm not going to sit on the ground, obviously, because I don't want my butt to be soaking wet. That's why I'm not being a weirdo. <laughs> My feet are just freezing right now. But now that we know what we're doing, let's get started. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the 
the stars We can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars Driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars We can sleep under the stars Under the stars We can do what we like, like
so hard I grew up without a scar Just living my life with no big worries And I've always known what I want Just didn't know what came along Finding myself a much less happy Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing Not everyone judging me Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down It just gives them right I wanna stay wide open ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna stay wide open Can't stand to hear more today I'm gonna lock my door and stay Inside a way until I'm safe again I have nothing more to put on I'm defeated and withdrawn Just trying to understand where it went wrong Always believe that nothing good in life is free But it's overwhelming how people can help Okay, you guys, that is pretty much it for the cleaning, like the going through and the decluttering. Uh, things are going to be changed around in, sorry, my phone keeps going off. My husband's still out of town. They're on the road right now, so I keep checking on to make sure he's okay. <laughs> but like I said, um, that stuff up there we're keeping. All of this stuff we are either still using for this school year or we're also going to be using in the next school year. Um, with all this, these are still good. They just are going to go in a different one. Things are going to be organized a little differently, but that is about it as far as the decluttering goes, like I said. Now it is time to start the rearranging and setting up for next year, which I am going to start here in a few minutes, but you can't see that yet. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this classroom declutter video. Um, it is going to look a lot different the next time that you see it. I am so excited. Um, if it seems like I'm talking a little quietly or boring, Ireland is asleep because it is midnight here and she is sleeping right on the other side of that wall. So I'm trying to get things done but not disturb Sleeping Beauty in there because you don't wake a sleeping baby even when they're five. <laughs> And the puppies are here. Puppies are checking on me, as always. <laughs> <laughs> but that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I decluttered and cleaned the classroom. I know it was not anything super fancy. I'm super excited. I do kind of still want to go through the books down there just to make sure that they're also organized, but the carpet's wet and I don't want to sit on wet carpet. So <laughs> that might have to be maybe a part two. We'll see. But again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And we will see you in Monday's video. Bye, guys. <laughs>